Longtime tradition returned to New Jersey this July 4th weekend. People once again line the streets for the Ridgewood Parade. Many telling CBS 2's Karen Dillon they are happy to bring it back. She's live there with more. Karen? Andrew, the parade here in Ridgewood just wrapped up a short while ago, but I can tell you the excitement is still in the air. The event was canceled last year due to COVID, so many of the people we spoke to here today said there was no way they were going to miss it this time. Ridgewood's 111th 4th of July parade kicked off with a star spangled bang. Beaming with pride and patriotism, dozens of people and floats wound through the streets of the quaint village Monday. We love it. It's really fun. We were sad to miss it last year because of coronavirus. I'm glad that we're still celebrating our independence and um, glad to be an American. The procession of marching bands and flag bearers is an annual tradition dating back to 1910. Also a tradition, people lining the streets in advance, sometimes days before with chairs, determined to get the best view of the route. These 20 members of the same family set up their chairs two days ago. We've been here every year for the last 40 years probably, so same spot right here because we always like this spot by the tree. And then everybody knows to come, get here early, sit at the curb. <laughs> Last year, COVID canceled the parade. So while this year's event was scaled down with fewer floats and even attendees, organizers say the parade is the heart of the community. It's a really exciting tradition. I mean, last year we really couldn't have it. The world was in such flux, but we really felt strongly about having it this year. You know, a return to normalcy. It's a fantastic tradition. The kids love it. The town loves it. So usually after the day's festivities, there are fireworks. Those had to be canceled, sadly, due to COVID concerns. But organizers hope they will be back next year. We're live this afternoon in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Karen Dillon, CBS 2 News. So nice to see the festivities back today. Karen, thank you.